Hi, I'm Chabi, and today I would like to show you a new pseudo effect I've been working on. So what this does is that from a clip, it creates a procedural ZDF pass. And if you don't know what a ZDF pass is, it's very useful for compositing, for creating lens blur, fog, or color correction. So this is not a magic effect, but it really does a good job. So let's reset it. And this is what it looks like by default. So we can show the original clip and see what it's doing. What we will do first is we will activate in this checkbox the a ramp. And what this will create is a gradient between two points. So we want to adjust those two points. So we will set the near point to this corner and the far point to the sky. And what this will do is that it will create this soft gradient between those two points. We will adjust them. We can also tweak the distortion. How will the RGB values affect the gradient? Something like this. And also the gamma and the gain. We want to make it very soft. Also the revolution will cycle between black and white values. Something around here. That's perfect. Okay. We will do the other half of the image and we will activate a second ramp. We will set a near point and a far point. And we will also play with the settings. Let's play with the distortion. Maybe that's too much. Maybe around 26 or so. Also the gamma. We want to make it symmetric to the other half. And good enough for a demonstration. The next thing we will activate a ramp for the floor because we want to make the this part very white and this part really dark. So we will activate it and repeat the same process. A near point, a far point and a gradient is created. It's very distorted so we will reduce the distortion. Okay. Let's lower the gamma. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, and what you will notice right now is that this part really looks like a ZDEP pass, but at the background we can see uh, noise and many gray parts that shouldn't be really there. So there's some there's a technique that will help you to fix it. And we have the circular ramp. This makes, uh, instead of a linear ramp, it makes a gradient, a circle, of light and you can move it around and see how it affects how it affects our zeta depth pass so we will place it on the background but we don't want to make values brighter we want to make them darker so what we will check is a screen multiply and this will switch between uh, the screen mode and multiplied mode so it will make this area darker and we can change the radius maybe that's the strength will lower the opacity let's lower the opacity down also the distortion the distortion can be negative so it will invert how the rgb values affect our ramp double the gamma uh i don't know good enough let's wait till it renders okay maybe okay good enough but that's not all. You can, we can switch more settings. We can go to the general controls. Let me close. Okay. So we can go to the general, general controls and we have blur and sharper and light and contrast. Light and contrast will allow us to make a general color correction towards the depth pass. Let's, I don't know. Let's tweak the gamma and make it, I don't know. Good enough. We can also invert the, the black and white if you want, but I will leave it this way. There's an option to auto control the source. So if you are using an image which doesn't have lots of detail, you can check this option and it will bring all the detail out. But for this example, it's not going to affect us in any way. And then there's the blur and sharpen options. So we could blur more. And with the blur and threshold, we could blur the background in order that what, what we want in a ZT path, we, we do not want textures. We want only the planes. 
when we want the, 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 the Z dimension and we don't want extras or speculars to appear. So let's tweak blur and the threshold. We can also sharpen the image if we want to bring the detail, but it's not necessary in this case. So we will just leave it in, in the 20, which is set by default. There's also a low quality blur, which will blur the image. It's a simpler blur, but it's much faster. So if you are working with the, the RAMs and, and you have a slow PC, you definitely want to check this in order to, to improve your speed. But for the final render, we will just leave this and click. There's also a disable evaluation. And if we check this, it will only show us the gradient. And we will it will not be affected by the RGB values. So it's very fast to render, but it's not as good as it could be. So that's all for now. I'm still working on it. It's not a plugin, it's a sealed effect. So if you have any thoughts, any ideas, any comments, let me know. And we will see you next time. Thank you.